Today, I'll be showing you how to make a delicious bacon cheeseburger potato hash. It's the most satisfying dish that's perfect for breakfast or brunch. All you really need are some pantry staples, ground beef, bacon, and cheese to make this. Welcome back, my name is Daniel here to show you simplified recipes that are easy to follow using common ingredients. If you're new to this channel, remember to hit subscribe and the notification bell for more delicious recipes that your friends and family will love. Now let's get started on this bacon cheeseburger potato hash. Start by washing and peeling about two pounds of potatoes and then dice them into even cubes of about one half of an inch in thickness. Then peel and dice one medium to large onion. The easiest way to do this is to cut the onion in half through the root. Then slice towards the root several times, rotate the onion 90 degrees, and slice parallel to the root several times like you see me do here. Cut off the root to discard and finish cutting through the rest of the onion. If you break it apart, they should be similar in size to the diced potatoes. Mince two cloves of garlic as well. Then shred half a cup of cheddar cheese. Turn your stove on to medium high heat and fry up two slices of bacon to your desired crispiness. Bacon releases a lot of grease that contains tons of flavor. Normally I would keep at least some of this to fry the potatoes in, but because I'm cooking for others that did not want to have all that saturated fat, I'm discarding it today and will replace it with vegetable oil later. For now, add in half a pound of lean ground beef and break it up into small pieces with a spatula. While it's cooking, season it with your choice of spices and herbs to taste. I'm using salt, black pepper, garlic powder, a little sugar, dehydrated onion, paprika, ground cumin, and chili powder today. At the very least, you should use salt and pepper. Stir those seasonings in while continuing to brown the beef until it is fully cooked through. Similar to bacon, ground beef also releases fat that's packed with flavor as it cooks. You'll want to leave at least some of this in the pan as you remove the beef. Like before, I drained it away today because others I'm cooking for want it healthier. Add some oil into the pan if you drain the bacon and beef fat. Then pour the potatoes in. Give it a quick toss to coat in the oil or fat and flatten it down into a single layer. This is to allow a nice brown crust to develop. Cover the pan with a lid and turn the heat down to medium, setting a timer for 10 minutes to allow the potatoes to steam and cook partially through. Remove the lid and take a quick peek under the potatoes to make sure it's not too dark. Crank the heat back up to medium high at this point if it's light in color like you see here and season it with salt, black pepper, and paprika. Let it fry there without disturbing it for five minutes and then check for browning. That crust on the potato is exactly what we wanna see. Give it a quick toss and flatten it down into a single layer again, trying to get a side that has not been browned yet to face the bottom as much as you can to develop a crust. Add your onions on top of the potatoes and let it rest there for five minutes like before. Then give it a good toss and mix the onions with the potatoes. Continue to repeat this flatten, browning, and toss step several times until you have achieved your desired crispiness. Eventually, make a hole in the center and add your minced garlic and some oil over top. Let it fry until the garlic is just about to turn a nice light golden brown color and then toss everything together. Garlic adds so much flavor to the dish, so don't leave it out. 
Return the ground beef to the pan and give it a quick toss to mix everything together well. Then, sprinkle over the cheese and the bacon. Cover this with the lid for several minutes to heat everything through. You can also turn your stove off at this point. Remove the lid when the cheese has fully melted and it's ready to serve. Remember to let it cool slightly before digging in. And there you have it, my bacon cheeseburger potato hash that's sure to impress your family and friends. It's so easy and simple to make and is guaranteed to be a crowd favorite. They'll be asking for seconds, so be sure to make extra. Enjoy! All right, it's time for the taste test. I am really excited about this one. It smelled so good as it was cooking and I'm gonna get a nice big bite with potato, bacon, cheese. Mmm, here we go. First bite. So good. <laughs> this is so good. You can't go wrong with this. Potatoes and ground beef and all those spices and flavors. And you add the bacon and cheese on top with that caramelized onions or partially caramelized onions. It really tastes like a cheeseburger but with potatoes. And it's so easy to put together. It is fantastic. You can of course make a vegetarian version of this and just put some bell peppers and put whatever veggies you want into this dish. But this is probably one of my favorite breakfasts that I've, or brunch, probably one of my favorite meals that I've ever made. I made this all the time when I was back in college and university. It is so satisfying, it is delicious, it's savory, it is just amazing. It's so amazing. And this is such an easy dish that doesn't take a lot of time at all. You can use whatever you have in the fridge to make this. For your friends and family they are going to absolutely love this one this is my twist on the potato hash but you can use this as a base and customize it to your liking putting whatever ingredients you want into this dish it is so incredibly good i really hope you try this one out you will not be disappointed and you're not going to have any leftovers i guarantee that and as always if you like this recipe give me a big thumbs up let me know in the comments below what you like to put into your potato hash and remember to hit subscribe and the notification bell for more delicious recipes. I will see everyone soon. Till next time, bye everyone.